Greg, time is something that everybody understands until you try to describe it. Now, we know from science, Einstein, that the characteristics of time are not what we think it is. You, as both a physicist and a science fiction writer, deal with time, pardon the pun, all the time. So what, how do you feel about time? What, what does it mean to you? What do you see it as? Time has always puzzled me. Uh, one of my first well-received novels uh, was called Timescape mm. because I tried to write about it as a landscape in which you could move instead of just being marched through it the way we experience it. And it's a, a novel about how physicists are trying to study this problem because they've discovered a way of propagating information backward in time. Not people, just information. Um, and the whole novel is about the struggle and what it implies, because you know, usually science proceeds by you make a discovery you or you invent something, and then you see the implications later. Uh, and that's really a very good way to structure a novel. So toward the end of the novel, they discovered that they have successfully conveyed this information backward in time about a disaster in the future, but they're still living in the same world. Mm -hmm. So I, and, and what's the answer? Why, how did, how is this possible? How can it be reconciled? And the answer is the information went backward. It caused the universe to split into two threads. And one of them, the world got saved. And you saved it, but you ha are living in this other universe. <laughs> so somebody else is much happier elsewhere, and that's your reward, but you're still stuck in this that, universe. That's actually very quantum mechanical in its Well, in it its is thinking. quantum. I, I invoked a quantum mechanical mechanism. Yeah. And in fact, I had the eerie experience of about 15 years later finding a number of papers published in Physical Review that actually worked out this as a, and a now viable theory of how you can reconcile what appears to be true in the laws of the universe, particularly general relativity, that you can, in principle, propagate information backward in time, and yet we don't ever seem to see it happening. And the answer is quantum mechanics. Because uh, it splits. Right. That's, that's the key idea in the novel, which was a totally new idea at the time, I was interested to find out, that it is the attempt to create, a, you'd say, a paradox that causes the quantum mechanical splitting that makes two universes. So what does that tell you about reality? Fascinating story mm -hmm. related to quantum mechanical theory, relating to Einstein's four dimension, block universe, time being like a dimension. What, what, what do you feel? What do you feel time is in reality? Now you've done the yeah. novel, get into reality. What do you think? Reality. Well, to me, this is the universe's way of saying, uh, nice try, but no cigar. <laughs> uh, I, that the, the universe is set up in such a way that these things are not only conceivable, you can't just think of them, but you can actually do it, but you can't change your world. And that is the deep lesson of reality, is that when you get to this level, you have become godlike in that you actually are literally creating other universes, but you don't get to live there. Uh, there's a strange moral lesson there, maybe. Uh, it makes you wonder, uh, actually, maybe the, the the God who created this universe was actually a failed physicist in another universe. <laughs> uh, but in any case, uh, it, it, to quote uh, the great philosopher, uh, the universe is not uh, just stranger than you suppose, it's stranger than you can suppose. <laughs> what, what do we do with that? Do we, do we assume that, that the universe therefore has branched many times? Uh, and there is an infinite number of these branchings? Well, it's possible. Uh, the the tough, tough things you don't know. I, I gave a worked out example. Uh, the, the novel occurs between two different times. And so you see people dealing with the nature of the paradox. And only later do you realize that you're looking at people who are in two different universes. Mm. Uh, but they have a common thread. And uh, that's the only way you would know and the point of view figure in the novel does know at the end that there is this other thread because he caused it. But you can't know about all the others because you, you, you didn't participate. Right. Yeah, and you didn't create any participation in it. Right. 
Uh, so it means that uh, there are unanswerable questions like this. Do you see time as something that is uh, part of the created process? Not, not, not saying it was designed or not designed, not, not, not dealing with that issue, but just the nature of time itself or something that is, um, that is uh, independent of, of the universe. We know space-time relate mm -hmm. together, but that's such a hard thing to grasp. Well, you could say, uh, are there universes in which there is no time? Uh, and I guess the stand-up answer would be yes, but not much happens. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that you can conceive of other universes. So, say a universe in which there are two axes of time. Uh, we have three or more axes of space, but what about two axes of time? Yeah, what would that mean? Well, what it <laughs> immediately means is that you can make loops in it. You can move on one axis, move to the other axis, and so on. And, and you can create paradoxes immediately. It's no problem at all. Uh, and how could you possibly think about such a universe? Uh, you, it would, you would abandon causality. Mm. There would be laws, but you could always go back and rejigger the results. Uh, what kind of universe is that? Well, it's not one I want to live in. Uh, scary. Uh, the... Uh, and of course, no limit. You could, if you have two, why not three, and so on. Uh, there's nothing in general relativity that says that can't be true. You have to make choices to get the equations down to a manageable size, and one of them is to throw away all but one axis of time. So <laughs> what's what that says is that there is nothing logically impossible or logically excluding the possibility of our three dimensions of space and one of time. We, we all assume that is some sort of a, 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 an absolute given that is an a priority for everything. But you could, if you had two axes of time, you might have only two axes of space. So on a two-dimensional surface, you have two dimensions of time. You have four dimensions altogether, but two and two. Yes. A very different kind of universe, but not logically impossible. Not impossible. You, you have in that universe a very confused insect crawling around <laughs> and never understanding what's going on. Uh, but it's not impossible. But somehow, well, first, we don't live there. Maybe the, that kind of universe is, is impossible for some reason we don't know. But one thing is the case. If you have more than one axis of time, then you cannot have causality in the same way that we think of it. Right. It's, it's a universe with infinite many plot lines. And, and what that would mean is that it's very hard, it's impossible to relate events together in, in relationships. Yes. So what that seems to indicate is that time being limited to one dimension gives the universe its intelligibility. Yes, to us. But remember, we emerged from the universe. Yes. We've evolved in the universe that, and, and the only way we could make it was to have it make sense. Yes. Could there be a universe that even had two axes of time and what kind of creature could evolve there? Well, it wouldn't be like us. And that's a perfectly good example of something that's beyond our conceptual horizons. We literally cannot conceive of this place because it would literally make no sense. But the fact that we are in this universe is, um, is a, 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 a causal necessity because if, if, we did, if we couldn't understand it, we wouldn't be yeah. here. Yeah, we're adapted to this universe. Maybe a universe with two time axes in it doesn't exist because even God couldn't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs>